Hey, what's going on guys? Just packed myself up a bowl and uh, smoking some Moon Trance. I did a review on this a long time ago, CAO. It's a uh, exotic fruit and bourbon vanilla blend. It's an aromatic, uh, I don't know if I get exotic fruit, maybe a little bourbon vanilla. Yeah, there's a little fruity there, but it's not like, I mean, some of these, you know, um, flavors of tobaccos are like, they're out there and they sound amazing, right? And then you go to smoke and it's like, oh yeah, tobacco and a little bit of something. Sometimes it's hard to even tell what it is. Um, but uh, Moon Chance is pretty good. I mean, I, I still recommend it if you're an aromatic person. But anyway, pecking a bowl up. Um, it's freezing out here. It is about 7 degrees out. And you guys might not be able to see. Well, you can see out there snow. Got hit with snow again. And you can also see I still have my Christmas stuff up. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll be taking that down very soon but I like it I it sucks because I love the tree I have a, a strip of uh, lit garland that uh, goes across like the uh, mantle in the fireplace between that and the tree when I'm sitting in the living room at night you know I uh, just, just sit there and, and think about some stuff sometimes I'll, I'll read a little bit it's just really really nice like uh, ambiance lighting and uh, it sucks when that when that's gone you know I don't have it obviously but anyway this is going to be uh, an update to the uh, fat man journal and we're talking about that a little bit what's been going on today music matches i recently went to a smoke shop uh, what happened was christina was getting a haircut in this strip mall and um i decided to go to the smoke shop of course i can look around look at cigars and stuff it was a little bit of a walking distance but i figured it was a good exercise and I uh, walked over there and I found they had boxes. It was a huge place. It was more of a head shop. A lot of glass pipes and stuff and, and very little cigars and things like that. But they had um, a box of matchbooks. And so, you know, a box of 50 of these, 50 matchbooks. How much do you think that costs? 99 cents. I'm waiting for you to answer like you could answer me. Um, so I'm like, 99 cents, I bought five of them. So I got matches for a while. Matches are a good thing, occasionally. So, anyway, yeah, let me get this thing lit up, and then we'll start talking. Unfortunately, in the cold, it's hard to do anything with your hands. chart up nice you guys can't see anything I'm doing can you using my check tool okay okay so the camera battery died I'm more than halfway through my bowl and I have no idea when it died so I gotta start this story over and <laughs> kinda start this video over <sighs> anyway let me get my, my pipe lit and we'll, we'll start talking here damn I hate that alright So, doing a little blog, talking about the weight thing. So today, I weighed myself this morning, and I weigh 320 pounds. I think it's 320.2, exactly. And that's great. I mean, it's six pounds lighter than when I started. Um, it's a very good start. It, everything's been steady, but I did have a drawback, and I want to talk about that a little in this video here. I weighed... 320 like two days ago but I put on two pounds because I made the mistake of having a beer and I'll tell you exactly what what happened what took place so basically um, I went up to my my uh, parents for for New Year's Eve 
Now, we had no plans of doing this. I totally surprised my dad. My mother was working New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. Um, so he was going to be alone. It was very uneventful, and, and Christine and I, we happened to get, the, I think uh, she got off the next day. And so um, we're like, oh, why don't we surprise him? So I ended up driving up, you know, late. I think we got there at like 11.30 or something. We had to quickly rush and, and kind of settle in to watch the ball and stuff. But we want to surprise him. And now this is a good excuse for me to to party, to have a few beers, um, you know, eat a bunch because it's a celebration, right? New Year's Eve. Now I knew this, and I'm not dumb, and I wanted to use this as an excuse to, to pig out and have like a break, you know? Doing good, let me have a break. Um, but I chose not to. I even posted on Instagram that I was, instead of getting beer, I just got a bottle of champagne. I went up there, we had a really nice time. You know, it was only for like an hour. Um, got there, settled in, ball dropped, you know, boom, everything kind of was done. Um, but uh, I had literally one sip, one shot of champagne. Um, and I was very proud that I didn't, I didn't drink or anything, because obviously, you know, beer is calories and stuff, and, you know, you throw back a few of them, it's like having a couple meals. It's not, it's not a horrible thing, but it's not a good thing, and it's certainly not a good thing to uh, do repetitively. So... Basically, what happened was the next day, we ended up, uh, we were able to stay in on the day because of work situation, all everyone's schedules aligned, and we decided to stay in on the night. Now, knowing that I wasn't going to be driving, I figured, well, you know what, maybe I'll have one beer, okay? So that, that's where my mistake was, and I kind of knew that it wasn't a good idea, but I did it anyway. It was maybe a little bit of a selfish moment. Um, eating's been great, exercise has been fantastic. Um, you know, working my ass off, uh, Tex has been helping me a lot, um, you know, texting back and forth and giving me uh, tips and, you know, giving me motivation and talking about what he's doing and everything else. So I appreciate that. But I had a little bit of a lapse, I guess you can say. I ended up going to the store, my dad picked up some beer, and I ended up getting one bottle of um, Stone and Joy Buy, which is an IPA. I forget the exact date. It's their, their freshest one. It was pretty damn fresh and it was very good. Very strong, dank IPA. Um, I enjoyed it, and that was my one beer. But because I haven't been eating big, heavy, you know, meals, I got a pretty good buzz off of it. And because of the buzz, I ended up grabbing a couple of my dad's beers afterwards. And because of that, that led into snacking. Okay, um, just like you know, smoking a joint or smoking a bowl or something. I got the munchies. I always get the munchies when I drink, which is not a good combination. I'm already taking in calories from the alcohol, from the beer. And then I take in the munchie calories. Now, in the back of my mind, I know I'm not doing a good thing. I know I'm, like, cheating. Um, so I ate, like, healthy food, but I ate too much. I had, like, two salads, you know. Um, I think I ate, like, a whole tomato. I was pretty buzzed. But in my mind, I'm thinking, well, okay, it's healthy food. But even though it's healthy food, I still overdid it. And the next day, two pounds lighter. Or, excuse me, two pounds heavier. Um... But what was different than in the past is I saw that and like I knew when I woke up and I was going to weigh myself, I knew that it wasn't going to be good, but I wasn't as discouraged as I used to be. Because at this point, old Jeff, old me, would have been like, you know what, you know, I messed up and then I get depressed and then I eat some more, you know, ah, screw it. I wasn't going to do that. Uh, I knew that, that this was different, you know, it's 2015, this is a different outlook I'm trying to have a different type of lifestyle. So I made a mistake, and that's okay. So I pushed through my mistake. I worked twice as hard the next day, and I dropped the two pounds. Um, so a little bit of a setback. But, um, you know, I'm still proud of myself for not getting as discouraged as I used to. Because usually, I mean, that would ruin my day. You know, I'm trying to do something really hard, and you have a little setback, and it would have bugged me all day. And it would have been a grouch, and everyone around me would have had to pay for that. They, I would have had a bad attitude all day. And, you know, all this stuff's going in my mind as I'm standing on the scale. And I'm thinking, you know what? I have to have a different outlook. I can't let this get me down. I got to just keep pushing forward. I'm going to do this, you know, as a little bump in the road. Um, but it's going to be like that. You know, realistically, you're not just going to drop, you know, one or two pounds every single week and then until you get to your goal. You're going to go up and down a little bit. Now, also, I was talking to a lot of people on uh, Instagram because I was doing those daily updates. And a few people were saying not to do that. And I'll tell you in a second why. Sure. 
<laughs> was holding the match funny. And I couldn't like readjust it because my fingers are frozen because it's friggin' 10 degrees out right now. Anyway, so yeah, a lot of people agree that weighing yourself every single day is more, um, it's not as beneficial as waiting and weighing yourself once a week or like twice a week. There's a couple things going on here. First of all, there's a lot of variables. There's water weight, um, you know, depending on how much water I had, depending if I go to the bathroom or not. There's a lot of variables, so when you weigh yourself every day, it's not necessarily your true weight. I try to weigh myself the exact same time, the exact same way. I weigh myself the second I wake up, before I eat, butt ass naked, um, in the same spot, the same scale, the same spot of the house, okay? So like, the difference between like a rug or hardwood. Like, every variable I take out of, you know, the, the equation when I'm weighing myself. However, like I said, the, the water weight can fluctuate a little bit. Whether I go to the bathroom yet or not, can you know, play a big role. You can take a, you know, one and a half or two pound dump. Um, so that makes a difference. So I'm not going to weigh myself every single day. I mean, I will, I might weigh myself every day just to put it on paper because I want to document all this. You know, because eventually at the end I'm going to show you, you know, what I weighed throughout the, this whole process. But I'm not going to post it. Uh, I'm not going to post it on Instagram. Instagram, I will do, do an update at least once a week, possibly twice a week. But the difference is that every day when I weigh myself, I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to have Christina write the weight down, and she's not going to tell me. She'll keep a little pad of paper or something because I don't want it to encourage me or discourage me. I don't want to see that I'm losing weight and feel like I could lax up a little bit, nor do I want to see myself gaining weight and getting depressed by it and having it bring me down. So, yeah, I agree with everyone on not weighing yourself every day. Um... It's just a number. It's how you feel, you know, how you look, and that will change with time. It's not going to happen overnight. And like I said, I can't expect a constant big drop in numbers. But I will definitely give you guys these vlog videos all the time. These will be, you know, I, can't, I don't know exactly when, but it'll be all the time. Every time something happens or I'll tell you, you know, what's going on, I'll give you, you know, because if you don't follow me on Instagram, you just follow me on YouTube through these videos, you'll need to know or want to know anyway um, some updates on what's going on. So the, uh, the gist here is that uh, I fudged up a little bit, um, but I learned my lesson. I'm literally having one beer a week, and that is just to do my beer reviews. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a couple pre-recorded beer reviews, so I might not even do it every week. You know, I mean, I'll post them every week, but I might not even have a, one beer every week. You know, like I said before, the average beer, 150 calories up to like, some of the beers could be almost 300 calories, you know, so it's like having a meal. Um, so, you know, when it's appropriate, I'll enjoy one, and when I do, I'll, I'll be filming it for you guys so you can see those reviews if you're interested in watching them, but that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just going to continue my regular regimen. Um, exercise has been great. I've been walking every day. I'm also doing a couple intense workouts that, um, I watched Tex's video, and I'm, I'm mimicking what he's doing, but to start off not as uh, heavy weights and not as many reps and stuff. Um, but it's, it's pretty intense. You get pretty beat up afterwards, but it's showing. I'm getting results, you know what I mean? I already lost six pounds from it. Um, doing shakes all the time, like kale shakes. I don't do it every single day, but most days I'll have one for breakfast. It's just been really good. So that bowl's done. It's going to take a long time for this guy to color. His eyebrows are getting a little brown. But, uh, yeah. It's only my, I think, fourth bowl in here. So, there you go. I want to give you guys an update. It's cold as a uh, witch's titty out here. And my finger still hurts. I have, uh, I know some people are asking about my finger update. I made a doctor's appointment with a specialist that does, um, he's a hand surgeon. And um, he is booked until February, which sucks. So I have, to, I have to not know what's going on with my finger until February. I already got x-rays, the bone's fine. Um, I have to go and, and see, you know, he, he does specialized stuff and joints and uh, I don't know if he does vascular stuff as well, but I'll find out what's going on eventually. I have an appointment. It's all out of pocket, super expensive. Um, 
but I'll look around. That might be a better option for uh, for health insurance. I know a lot of people outside of the U.S. they're like, oh my God, health insurance is so expensive there. Every every place has their their ups and downs. Health insurance sucks in America, um, but there's some good things about America too. So it's a give and take. Um, but I have a bias. I've never been out of the country. I've never in my life been out of the United States of America. So I can't talk to countries that are better, worse. I, I don't know from experience. I can only guess from, from what I see on the news and, and crap like that, which is not, not really even relevant. I'm sure there's other wonderful places to live in the world besides America. But right now I live in America. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was doing my thing here. So anyway, that's the update. I'll let you guys know probably maybe mid-February what's going on with my finger um, and then hopefully fingers crossed it's good news if it's bad news whatever has to happen will happen and then I can you know heal up and then eventually do some uh, some more battle song videos and and uh, of course some Zippo tricks and stuff like that um, it just sucks you know point your finger on my dominant hand I can't do shit with this finger everything I do hurts so anyway that's all for now I'm freezing I'm gonna go inside and uh, spend some time with Gus and uh, warm up a little bit and uh, I got a, a workout to do at nine o'clock so I'm doing pretty good um, like I said that little setback didn't it didn't throw me off like it would have in the past I feel very strongly about doing this and um, I have so much support from you guys it's gonna happen it is gonna happen also quick little note you can't tell but I'm growing in the beard again um, I tried this the first time, but now since I have a fresh start, it is going to happen again. I literally shaved my face the day before I started to to do this and, and get on the right track and lose weight. So I will continuously grow the big beard, whether you hate it or not. I don't care. I'm growing full beard, mountain man um, look until I hit my, my goal, my weight goal. All right, so it, in my mind, it'll be cool because I'll be growing this funked up looking thing and um you know eventually i'll be skinny and then i'll just shave it and reveal what i look like you know so we'll see how that works out um but right now it's, it's looking pretty damn bad just i look like the wolf man and uh the moon's turning but anyway it is what it is right so right on for that stuff i'm breaking out the beard oils and getting ready to uh to get it on with the uh, the full beard We'll see. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for, for hanging around with me and, and watching this and, and um, you know keeping me on my toes and, and supporting me uh, through this journey of, uh, of losing weight. It's going to happen, and I'm very excited for it. It's just I have to be patient. I have to work hard, and I have to not give up. And I'm not going to give up. I've done it so many times in the past, and I, I want it for so many different reasons this time. You know, I'm getting older. I'm married now. I want to have kids. I mean, I want to have kids when it's a little bit more appropriate um, financially for me. Uh, you'll never, you know, <laughs> most of my life I always say, like, I'll wait until, like, I have a bunch of money to have a kid, and that's not realistic. I'm never going to have a bunch of money. But, um, you know, I don't want debt when I have a child. I want to do it the right way. So, uh, but I, you know, <laughs> I'm not getting younger. Uh, so it'll probably happen in maybe the next couple of years. But, uh yeah, I'm just I'm excited to to start my new life now as a married man, and um, you know document a lot of my stuff on YouTube for you guys. You know, of course, try a lot of different products, some gear, some knives, some gun stuff. You know, and, and who knows? You know what kind of videos I post? I post a little of everything, um, but part of it is letting you guys know, you know, as distant friends, what's up in my life and and what I'm doing, you know, and how I'm doing. So feel good. Two thumbs up. Got to be positive. Got to move forward. Uh, push through the pain and reach that goal, and it will feel sweet. I can't wait. And I got a couple people doing it with me, um, and I have a lot of support that I'm giving out as well as taking in. Um, I know Ted Barris wants to drop a few pounds. Uh, total support for him, you know. Um, Brad Bishop, you know, trying to get rid of the smoking. I got two or three people on Facebook who are doing the uh, uh, weight loss thing with me, the journey, and... You know, a bunch of people. I have a little bet with ATF. I'll say it publicly so we can announce that. But we got a $50 bet going down this time next year. You know, who, who loses the most will win. And uh, win big because they'll have lost the most. 
So uh, yeah, I got I got a lot of motivation, and I'm just excited. I can't wait for it, you know. But I have to be patient. I can't rush things, and I have to be realistic too. Like I said before, I'm not going to starve myself. Um, I'm not going to you know tear muscles and, and stuff trying to overwork out and, and over exercise. You know, I, I want to do this the healthy way. But more importantly than anything, I want to do it in a way where it's going to stay off. All right, it's a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. Um, so I have to try to enjoy what's going on and find what works for me so that when I reach my goal, it doesn't end there. You know, this, this journey is from a couple days ago to the rest of my life, to the day I die. You know what I mean? I don't want to revert back. I don't want to eat like a pig. I don't want to have a meal and then feel sorry for myself because of how disgusting it was. You know what I mean? It's something that not everyone understands. Um, but some fat people out there, we've had some messed up meals and then afterwards like what the hell that wasn't even human what i just ate that wasn't uh that wasn't right <laughs> but uh yeah i just want to be healthy that's all and feel better and uh, some people were saying too like it's kind of ironic that you want to be healthy but you're smoking um i've talked this before I, I smoke a pipe or a cigar a couple times a month um uh, you know i don't obviously inhale any of the smoke it's a relaxing experience for me. It keeps the stress levels down. I don't have a lot of things in my life to relieve stress. Um, it's basically sex and uh, a pipe or a cigar. That's what I got, <laughs> you know. And uh, it was the occasional beer, but now that's not really even an option. Um, so, <laughs> there are a few beers, I should say. I can still have the occasional beer, but it's not really even a whole lot of stress. It's just basically to, to enjoy the flavor. Um, <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe TMI, but I'm keeping it real for you guys. This is what it is, you know. Get laid, smoke a pipe. That's all I got. So yeah, <laughs> I should probably edit now before I say some other ridiculous things. But that's all. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and uh, stay tuned. You will see a new update soon. I will tell you about my progress, give you a weight update, like a weight check-in. Let's call it. And, uh, of course, I'll do the same on Instagram. But uh, if you follow me on Instagram, it's Cutlery Lever Jeff. Uh, it will be, because I want to post some other stuff, too. I don't just want to post, you know, my weight all the time. I'll post some other fun stuff, get back on the ball, using Instagram and, and uh, you know, some other uh, outlets besides YouTube. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. How many times did I say that already? I mean it, though. I really do hope the rest of your day is awesome. And I will see you guys soon with a new video. Take care.